Hey guys, this is Puchkov Development here. Uh, in this iPhone SDK tutorial, it will be Coco Studio tutorial, and I'm gonna show you how to use actions. As you know, Coco Studio is a, it is probably the best uh, game development framework for iPhone and iPad, and probably Mac. Uh, it is a 2D net uh, game framework. I uh, if you still haven't installed it. Uh, I will put a link down in the description on how to install it and I will put a link to Coco Studio official website. So let's begin. Once you have installed Coco Studio, open up Xcode, create new project. Uh, here you can see iOS and select Coco Studio. In this example we'll use just regular Coco Studio without box to the or chipmunk so product name will be actions and I'm gonna save it to my desktop so to perform actions we will need some but uh, some images and I have them here I will just use these icons first I will go to my actions folder another actions folder resources uh, I will pick icon 72 and duplicate it put it in my desktop and rename get info rename it to cocos I'm gonna call it cocos and uh, put it into the resources folder copy items yes I'm gonna put it into trash it is not needed anymore. So now let's go to Hello World layer and if we build okay, I'm gonna pause okay build succeeded okay our build succeeded and here it is it is just simple Hello World thing just a label was that says hello world okay I'm gonna close the simulator and I'll delete all this label code okay just delete it so we will move a sprite and CC it is called CC sprite in Cocos Studio I will call it Cocos we can also move a label. I will call it. I will choose label. So there is a CC label Atlas BT, BMF font, BM font, and CC label TTF. In this case, I will use CC label TTF, and I will call it label. Okay. Now remember these names. Go to hello world layer dot m into init init method, and let's create the layer the image let's display the image and the label so first one is cocos it is a cc sprite cocos equal to cc sprite sprite with file and i will call it is called uh cocos.png okay now let's add a position to it cocos dot position equal to CCP 100 100 self now let's add it to our to our scene okay I made a mistake CCP cocos point self add child cocos I've submitted uh, I've re I'm about to release a new apps to the app store and a uh, new app will be SDK tutorials advanced SDK tutorials for beginners and SDK tutorials Coco Studio, and all this kind of stuff is explained in SDK tutorials Coco Studio. When it comes out, I will put a link down below in the description, and please buy it to support Puchkov development. If you want more great tutorials, if you want me to make more great tutorials, buy, just buy it. Thanks. Uh, let's continue. So let's now let's create label. Label equal to square bracket cc label ttf okay label with string 
string it will say Coco Study. Uh, font name. Font name will be Arial. And font size will be 24. Now let's position it to label.position equal to CCP. Now this is uh, probably what you haven't done before. I will use Cocos. It is our sprite dot position. So it's position dot x position on the on the horizontal line. So Cocos position dot x. So it will be on the same spot just below it. And Cocos position dot y. So this is up and down vector. So I'm gonna make it down. Let's make it. 30 pixels down. Okay, now let's add child. Self add child label. Okay. So I'm gonna build and run and see what I've got here. Okay, iPhone simulator, click a studio logo. So here it is. It is not really that good. I'm gonna change its position to Kirkus position that y minus 60 so here it is so let me explain 100 100 this is x axis and y axis so 100 here and 100 here so this is 100 100 spot it is uh, in the middle of our Coco's face and the label so it takes Coco's positions so label that position that x is 100 Declared declared here and cocos dot position dot y is one hundred two is declared here, and by minus sixty we we make one one hundred minus sixty so it is forty pixels here, so we kind of lower our label sixty pixels below the sprite, so this is really simple. Now let's create an action. There are a few types, there are a lot of types of actions. There are basic actions uh, that modify properties like position, scale, rotation, visible, opacity, RGB. RGB is red, blue, green. Re red, green, blue, the color, if you don't know. So I will create an action that is called CC move to. It just moves sprite and the label. Will move both so CC label I mean excuse me CC move to move to I will call it move I'll go to hello world layer so it will be move equal to CC move to action with duration will be 5.05 seconds and position CCP mm. Let's make it 300, 100. Uh, now let's run this action on our Cocos sprite. Cocos run action. Cocos. Really simple. Okay. Something is wrong. Oh, I spelled it wrong. It, it is CCP, not C. PP. Okay. Okay. I made another mistake. Sorry for that. Run action. Action is called move, not cocus. So here it is. It will move to position 300, 100 in five seconds. So here it is. The, it changed its position. I'm gonna quit the simulator. And I'm gonna apply the same action to our label. Just label run action move. It is probably not the best way to do it, but I'm not sure. Okay, something's wrong. Up in build again. Okay. Doesn't work. Okay, what? Are, never mind. Now I'm gonna show you 
So there are reverse actions too. So basically if you want to reverse that action, you can add Coco's run action move reverse. Let me close this action. Okay. Let me come. I come to this action. It's only one of them runs at, the t at a time. Oh no, interval. Let me check. Okay, let's change this code. A let's change it a little bit. We will create another action ID using the ID. I will call it ID move reverse. It will be equal to move reverse. And let's run action. Let's run this action our Coco's sprite. Coco's run action move reverse. Okay. Oh, CC. Ah, uh, I think CC move two is not supported. Okay, it appears to me that CC move two is not supported. It's one of unsupported actions. So I'm gonna change change it to CC move by action with duration two and position CCP. 80 comma 80. So basically this action it will move 80 pixels right and 80 pixels up in two seconds. So it should work now. Okay as you see here it behaves we, re we just reverse this action move down. So now let's change this to move and it will work as it is supposed to. Oops. Let me run again. Actions. It is a multitasking. Okay. I'm gonna quit this app. Remove it from multitasking. Actions. Oh, okay. Oh, I have to build it again. Okay, as you see here, it moves up 80 pixels. And 80 pixels right. So there are a lot of actions. I'm gonna add a link down below to the to Kirkus to the programming guide. It is pretty it's pretty useful when you're not sure how to do something. Uh, but before that I'm gonna show you how to add a sequence of actions so perform one action after another. So let's delete this code and I'm gonna add ID action to action one equal to CC move to action with duration five and position CCP 100 100 so this action will move our spread to position oh let's choose 200 400. So this section will move our sprite to position 200 for, uh, 400. So action, it will be action 2, CC move by, action with duration 3, position CCP 100, 300. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna upload this video to YouTube and I'm going to put link to part 2 below. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.